Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 5.25 that is taken from chapter number 5, Analysis and Design of Beam. And the book name is Mechanics of Material, Bear and Johnson, 6th edition. So, statement is draw the shear and bending moment diagram for the beam and loading shown. Determine the maximum normal stress due to bending. So, you can see this is an overhanging beam AB having roller support at point C and at point D you have pin support. At A you have a 5 kips load and at D you have 10 kips load. And this is wide flange beam W14 by 22. So you have to determine the shear force and bending moment diagram and determine the maximum normal stress. So I will write first what you have to find is that in part first determine or draw the shear and bending moment diagram and in part B you have to find the maximum normal stress due to bending which is sigma max clear so let's start with the solution so what will be the first step is that first step is that if you remove this roller support at point C so you will be having a vertical reaction force which will be represented as C and if you remove this spin support so you will be having a vertical reaction force B there will be a horizontal reaction force Bx as well but you can see there is no other force so Bx will be equal to zero so we will find this C B and Bx by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is this one and only Bx is acting that is in negative direction and there is no other force. So it means that Bx is equal to 0. Now we will find this uh, Cy by using another equation of equilibrium and that is sum of all moment about point B is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So you can see about point B, the first moment is due to this 10 kN load and perpendicular distance is 5 and it is producing counterclockwise moment. So it will be positive. So I can write it 10 multiply by 5. The second moment is due to this C and perpendicular distance is 13 and this is producing clockwise. So it will be negative. So I can write it minus C into 13. And the last moment that is produced due to this 5 kN and perpendicular distance is now 18 and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive. So plus 5 into 18 is equal to 0. So this will give us 50 minus 13 times C plus I will check 5 multiply by 18 which will be 90. So 90 plus 90 is equal to 0. So 90 plus 50, so 13C is equal to 140. So 140 divided by 13 will give us 10.76. So from here, C will be equal to 10.76 kip. Okay. Now you have this C, so you can find this B by using the third equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So minus five kips plus c, so minus five plus c, c is 10.76 minus 10 plus b is equal to zero. So you can see minus 15 plus 10.76 plus b is equal to zero. So we will get, we will choose the calculator minus 15 plus 10.76 will give you minus 4.24 and when it will go toward the right hand side, so it will be 4.24, okay, sorry, B will be equal to 4.24 kip. Now you have all these reaction forces, so we can easily move toward shear force and bending moment diagram. So for that I have, what I have to do is that I have to take the vertical lines from the end of this beam clear in order to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. First I will draw a horizontal line to show the x, x is in feet and on y axis you have v 
which is shear force and unit will be kips. Let me take one division is equal to two kips. So two to four, you can take it by your own as well. So minus two, minus four and minus six. Okay. Starting from the first point, you can see at point A, you have minus 5 kips load. So this will go toward downward. So our first point will be this one. Minus 5 kips. As you can see that moving from A to C, there is no other load. So it will remain horizontal till this point C. So what I will do is that I will mark these points. This is your point C and this is your point D. Okay. So from this till point C, we do not have any load. So it will remain same. Now at point C, you have plus C, which is 10.76. So minus 5 plus 10.76 will give you how much? Let's check it. Minus 5 plus 10.76 will give you 5.76. Okay. So this will be the point. That this is the 5.76. Okay, so shear force will change from minus 5 to plus 5.76. Now moving from C to D, there is no other force. So it will remain horizontal till this point D. And at point D, you can see you have minus 10 kips loads. So minus 5, uh, plus 5.76 minus 10 will bring it to minus 4.231. Let me check it. 5.76 minus 10 is 4.24 so 4.24 will be somewhere here it will be like this okay so shear force will change from this to this point and from d to b there is you can see there is no other force so it will remain horizontal till this point and at point b this is minus 4.24 and at point b you can see you have plus 4.24 which will bring it toward the zero and we'll complete your shear force diagram. Moving toward the bending moment diagram. So again, I have to draw a horizontal line to show the length x in feet. And on y axis, you have moment that is having unit kips multiplied by fit, feet. Okay, let's take one division is equal to uh, 10. So this is 10, this is 20, this is 30. You can take as per your own requirements, minus 10, minus 20, and minus 30. Okay. Starting from first point, at, at A, you can see you do not have, at X is equal to 0, so bending moment will be 0 at this point. Now we can see that area under the shear force diagram will give you bending moment. So first area under the shear force diagram will give you bending moment. Let me call this area is A1. So I will write here A1 is equal to minus 5 multiplied by the length over which it x is 5. So it will give you minus 25. So at point C, C is this point. So this will be minus 25. So which, which will be like this. This is minus 25. And you can see that shear force is a horizontal line and this A1 area is negative. So bending moment will be 1 degree line and slope will be decreasing. So it will be like this. I will join these two points using straight line. Okay. Now the second area under the shear force diagram is this one. And you can see that A2 is equal to 5.76 times 8. This distance is 8 feet. So 5.76. 7.6 multiplied by 8 will give you 5.76 multiplied by 8 is 46.08. 46.08. Now minus 25 plus 46.08 will give you overall minus 25 plus 46.08 will give you 21.08 movement. At point D, 21.08. So 21.08 will be somewhere here. This is your point. This it, it will be somewhere here. So let me write it 21.08. And you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with area A2 is positive. So bending moment will be 1 degree higher and it will be a straight line. Slope will be increasing. 
Now the last area is A3 and you can see A3 is equal to minus 4.2324 multiplied by 5. So I will choose minus 4.24 multiplied by 5 will give you 21.2 minus 21.2. Okay. I think we have made a mistake. This will also give you A2 will also give you minus 21.2. Okay, what is E2? E2 is 40. Let me check it. 5.76 multiplied by 8 is 46.08 minus 25. It's 21.08. Okay. And this is minus 21.2. Okay. Now, 21.08 minus 21.2 is equal to 21.02 minus 21.2 is minus 0 0.18 so it means that this is negative so it will be approximately equal to 0 here and you will get the point at and it will be this one now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line and area a3 is negative so bending moment will be one degree line and the slope will be decreasing so it will be like this so this is your bending moment diagram for the beam and this is your shear force diagram okay moving toward part b in part b we have to find determine the maximum normal stress so we know that uh, maximum normal stress is equal to absolute value of maximum bending moment divided by section modulus and from this shear force bending moment diagram you can see that maximum bending moment is 25 kilo newton into meter so maximum absolute value of bending moment is minus 25 i can write it maximum absolute value of this bending moment is minus 25 mod which will give you 25 and unit will be kips into feet Converting this feet into inch, so I can write it at maximum absolute value of bending moment is equal to 25 kips multiplied by 12. One feet is 12 inch, so it will be kips into inch. So 12 multiplied by 25 will give you 300, so it will be 300 kips into inch. Okay. Now what about section modulus? So we have been given 14 by 22. So what we will give, do is that we will move from appendix C, appendix C, section property and we will get the S for W 14 by 22. Okay. So let's go towards the book. This is the book. You can see you have to go at the appendix C and in appendix C prop steel prop property of rolled steel so you will go now you can see this is US customary okay so in US customary you can see this one is W so W 14 by 22 so this is the last one is W I cannot use the pen over here why okay yes this is okay editing is unavailable so you can see the last one is w this is 22 so your this value will be 29 you can see this value is 29 which is for sx and unit will be cubic inch so sx rs will be equal to 29 cubic inch now you have all the values so just can put it maximum bending stress is equal to absolute value of maximum bending moment divided by section modulus which is sx so you can write 300 kip into inch divided by 29 so 300 divided by 29 will give you 10.34 sigma max is equal to 10.34 and unit will be kip per square inch and kip per unit per square inch is also known as KSI KSI K 
किलो पाउंड पर स्क्वेयर इंच एंड दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ अवर सेकेंड पार्ट सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड दिस वीडियो एंड यू हैव लर्न फ्रॉम इट दोज हु आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आईकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई लेटेस्ट वीडियोज़ If you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching